What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the TrackMan Golf Simulator. All right, we have our TrackMan 4 unit connected to the Virtual Golf 2 software here to demonstrate an all new course they just released, Chimera Golf Club. All right, so pretty cool course, not too long, which is kind of in favor for me. I don't drive the ball super long when I'm really getting it out there, maybe carrying it in the 260s or so like that. So it just depends, but I figured this would be a really good demonstration. I had a lot of people ask, to see more of the TrackMan Golf Simulator, especially the Virtual Golf 2 software. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just lower down, shrink down my camera. Um, I'll take down my studio lights. Um, that way they are interfering at all. Uh, something to bring up that uh, I actually um, was reading about and depends on when I'm recording what I'm using, but um, I turn off these spotlights I have in here. You can see how it just dims down just a little bit when I'm using the TrackMan because those are actually, not, uh, they're not flicker free. Okay, so um, I have all of my normal lighting up here that, that puts the proper lumens uh, in the hitting area for the TrackMan and that's so it can utilize the OERT technology. That's that optically enhanced radar tracking technology. Um, so just understand that, uh, you know, that is important. You don't wanna have flicker uh, in any of your lights. So I actually turn that off while we're here in gameplay. So let's go ahead and get started. Got my Pro B1 with my metal dot on it, and uh, we should be good to go. We'll talk a little more about TrackMan on the way. Not an amazing strike, but I think it's going to work out quite well. Yeah, decent carry. Going to get some rollout. All right, just was a, a little bit low on the club face. You could see that launch angle wasn't uh, incredible, but worked out quite well for us. So my track man, and you can see I have full club data and everything showing up um, because I have the proper lighting inside the studio. So my track man's seven feet from the ball and I have just about 10 and a half feet of ball flight, um, which is becoming optimal for the TrackMan scenario. Um, they required a little more distance in the past, and now you can uh, use it in a shorter environment. Even shorter than that is what their plan is uh, eventually here. So 91 yards, four feet downhill, got a 58 degree. The only thing that I've noticed, yeah, I felt like I left that face open. Oh, a little spin on it though. I hit it well, just left the face open. Um, only thing I've noticed is that when you're hitting wedges, even though I have the proper lighting, it doesn't pick up the club data every single time on the wedge. Now that time it did, full wedges, uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job of um, chipping and half wedges and stuff. I, it does miss some club data here and there, just something for you guys just to, to know if you see that. Now I have it on eight book gimmies and it actually auto aligns to the break. Okay, I'm playing a, a, a 10 stimp. So this is 18 feet, two inches downhill. So 16 feet is what I'm gonna play this for. I pulled that just a little bit. So hopefully if I get it there, oh, <laughs> that shows you that the putting is quite accurate on here. I mean, I called that right, right as, you know, before it even started rolling. Um, just pulled it just a tiny bit. The speed was so perfect. Um, that's all right. We're going to walk away with par and uh, hole number two. You guys didn't see this on the first hole. I love how it kind of gives you this, you know, nice drone overview of the hole, uh, you know, right before you get started here. All right. Hole number two, 496 yards. Don't need to aim with my map at all because it looks like we got a nice straight shot down there. Let's see if we can get another good drive off here. All right, I'll take that. Just a little bit of a draw, which is you know normal for my uh, my driver. Carried it quite well, 272. It was a little downhill. I think it was 15 feet or something downhill. Making some good swings though. Got my spin rate down a little bit on that one. What's that give us to the hole? 208. So I'm gonna play. And you know, I need to verify this with TrackMan. You know, I, I mean, I've been told a couple different things so far. So um, do you need to select iron or not versus hybrid, uh, like a, a wood, iron or wedge? They said it's 
preferable. I think it narrows windows of reading and stuff, is what a few people told me. I'm going to verify that, though, with some other, other uh, you know, technicians I figured I would call in and ask. I've been doing it just to do it. I figured, why not hit a 5-iron? I think I can get it close. Yeah, it's going left. I expected that to go left. I could have called it out, but I actually uh, hit that off the the toe it felt like it was kind of closed and toey all right what do we have here i've got the green grid on auto so when you get close to the green it gives you the grid you can kind of see it coming down towards the hole i'm losing 10 percent of my power and i'm losing 20 percent of my spin well, it does have penalties this is 20 yards i'm gonna try to play like a 60 foot flop because i'm assuming it's gonna take that 10 percent off aim a little right I aimed too far. Uh, I meant aim left. I think I said right. Oh, man. Not my best chip. Not my best. I just, I played it hard and left. What do we have here? 27 feet, 8 inches downhill, so playing like 19. Gives us an opportunity here to make this. It's a par 5, so it's fine. How's that? Is that enough? Is that enough? Oh, <laughs> so close. Thought we had it. I thought it was a recovery. That's all right. That's a gimme. That puts us uh, even through number two, which I'll take after that pretty bad kind of, I don't know what you want to call that chip. That was just a bad chip. I had a right idea in my head and just didn't execute the way I wanted it to. Hole number three, what do we have here? 248 kind of to the end of the fairway, so I have to have to kind of lay up. I need to hit a soft driver here, see if I can swing light and get it right to the end there. That was a nice smooth driver. Hopefully it'll only carry like 240, 250. Oh, that could be so well. There you go, carry 235. Rolled out to 250. Perfect. Yeah, I got the ball speed down 10 miles an hour if you see that. 140 was the ball speed. All right, 94 yards. I'm going to grab my 58 again. It's a little downhill. I always face the metal dot towards the screen. And then you face it up on driver. Kind of like, not straight up, but almost straight up. Was that the right distance? Get up. Lots of spin. Lots of spin. Oh, I just took a little too much off. Had, had potential. It had potential. So I'm in the fairway. Um, I've never put, I've never put from on the fairway before. Um, I've I've definitely done from the fringe and it works pretty well. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do kind of a bump and run on this and see how it goes. It's a 30 foot, 10 yards, 30 feet. Let's see how we how we can do this. You guys probably want to see short chipping with the TrackMan 4 anyway. Slow down. All right, puts us in there for par, only a couple feet from the hole. I'll take that. Yeah, four feet, eight inches from the hole. All right. What do we have coming up next here? It's par 368 yards. I will put our driver away, that's for sure. I'm going to try to hit like a smooth seven. Only a couple feet downhill, so don't have to worry about that too much. Let's see if we can get our seven iron there get ourselves a decent putt. I have not hit a ton of hole-in-ones on, on the sim before, and uh, I hit one on TrackMan out at Bay Harbor. I just I got on that a little too much. Probably could have gotten eight iron there. It's all right. See how, whew, 58 feet though? Oh man. Well, let's see how we do with long putting. 
15 inches downhill. So that makes it, uh, let's see here. Okay. Got a good idea in my head here, but it's a long putt. Will that be enough? Roll the downhill. Oh, wow. It just took off when it came down that hill. Took off. Leaves me with a 16 foot putt. All right, 17, three inches uphill. So 20 feet, let's see if we can save it. It's a good putt. Just a little left. <laughs> brutal, brutal I'll tell you, just brutal. All right, well, that auto finishes us for bogey. So we're one over now. See if we can uh, manage to get it in gear here and uh, get a birdie. This would be a good hole to get a birdie on. Looks really straightforward. That's the thing, I, I noticed this uh, this course and it looked like a pretty straightforward course. I know people you know, like the challenging ones and then also there's a lot of people that look for uh, you know, just something that's, that's nice and easy and straightforward. You know, and I thought this was one of those, so it'd be a good one to demonstrate. Brand new course. I actually don't know anything about the course. I didn't even look it up, uh, look up the details. Oh, it's a pretty good drive. Draw a little. Nope. Nope. I was hoping that ball would draw just a little bit for me. No draw. Push it out to the right. And now we're in some trouble. Can we squeak it in between the trees? This was supposed to be our birdie hole. I think we can aim a little bit right. I think we can squeak it through there. A little field goal action. Just gonna aim just a little bit right. It hit the tree. Do you see it take off right? <laughs> All right. That's okay though. It hit that tree on the right. Ricocheted a little bit to the right. That's all right. What can we do here? Another little bump and run? Let's just save par. 45 feet. Let's get one up there and save par. Oh, it checked up hard on me. We well, gotta make a 14 foot putt. Okay, scrambling for par here, 14 feet, 14 feet. Be the one, be the one. All right, we can make a putt on the Trackman Golf Simulator. <laughs> Sooner or later, took us long enough, but we save our par, we stay at one over, now it's time to was another par three here, 180 yards, okay. So based on how I hit my seven iron last time and where that pin placement is, I think we're gonna grab a seven. I'm gonna go over to my computer really quick here. And I think we're gonna aim up here, what is that, 176. Yup, I think this is, it's just a little downhill, seven feet downhill. I think this is the right play. Let it roll up towards the pin there. I hit that well. I don't draw too much. Roll. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, that was the plan. All right. Love being able to see all the club data and everything. I mean, I struck that really well. You can look up there every time. 25 feet uphill, two inches. Ooh, look at this double breaker though. Hopefully that's, no, I think it was too much and so it broke to the left. All right, we'll take our par. Take our par, that was a long putt. Had some confidence on the putting after uh, making that last one. Three feet away, not too bad. All right, what do we got up next here? 
par four. I mean, these are straightforward holes. Let's see if we can get ourselves a birdie here. I'd like to get back down to even. 260 yards down there. So, where does it have me aimed? I mean, can we reach the green? It's only 258 to the green. Oh, oh, oh man, just a tiny little fade if I could would be perfect. Let's see if we can hit a good drive here. Drivable par four, I love it. Yeah, there's the fade. And uh, that's gonna be green side bunker, I wanna say. Oh, it was such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> just uh i swung light i wanted to hit it well you could see the fade on the ball just like i i planned on doing oh man all right this is still a great birdie opportunity so it's going to take off just six percent power no big deal 13 yards i'm going to play it just a little bit right i'm not going to overdo it like i did that last one Get down. Is that within? Is that within eight? Five feet, three inches. There's our birdie. All right. Feeling better. Feeling a little better. I mean, a drivable par four, that's your, you can't, you can't miss birdie on those. Can't miss birdie on those. Par five, 482 yards. Love the shot over the water. Very cool. All right. Still not super long. It says it's only 183 if you get it up there, 280. Let's see if we can get another good drive in here. <sighs> Pretty good. There's that little draw. Go ball. Nice. Whenever I hit that draw, always squeak the extra out of it. You can see carry 267. That's pretty good for me. Anywhere in the high 260s, 270s, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with that. And so now we've got to see here, because this is another good birdie opportunity. 191, but what's to the front of the green? 182? So I can get a six iron there, potentially. It's a little uphill. Maybe if I just jump on this six enough, it rolls up. That's what I'm thinking. Man, I think that's just going to be right. Yep, I felt the face open. It's all right. Green side bunker. We can hit those. Yeah, I just felt when the ball hit the face, you could just, you know, you can just feel it when it's open. So is it at least not buried? Oh no, see it's a little buried. It's taking 20% off. So I need to hit this. Let's see here. Maybe for about like 55 feet or so, 60 feet. That's what I'm thinking. It's a little bit off to the right. That way it breaks to the left. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'd say the green side bunker was the play. A gimme for birdie. And now that puts us back down now was that a bogey that i got on am i am i losing track of my score here as we go i'm gonna have to look at the uh the scorecard yeah so now we're back down to even all right i'm talking too much not even paying attention to my score oh look at this now this is a challenging uh hole here so you got to get it down there and then you've got a approach shot, 120, 130 yards or so, depending on how far you get it. Um, actually, it's only 266 there. So I love how it does that, just so you guys know. You can aim wherever you want. So let's say that I get a hold of my drive. Let's say you want to plan. Let's say, okay, I crush my drive, it goes 280 or so. Well, now I have a 110 yard shot, all right? You can really plan your approach shot that way, just like you would with uh, you know, looking at a scorecard or using one of the apps or something. Ah, oh, just hit it low on the face. You can see that take off low, go ball.
Go ball. Just don't get the distance when I hit it low on the face like that. Only gonna get 265 out of it, but I think that leaves us with a pitching wedge, which I don't mind that. 126 to the pin. I don't mind a pitching wedge in. Eight feet downhill. Let's see what we can do here. Sitting even, even for the day here. A little fade in there. Tried to chop a little bit off and look at I hit too much. Oh, right play, just wrong execution. You can see the ball shaped the way I wanted it to, just a little baby fade in there. And uh, it just didn't take enough off. Just didn't take enough off. So we're gonna miss our birdie opportunity here. Oh man, 34, 11 down. So just over 20 feet. Let's give it everything we got here to try to make this. Be the one. It's gotta get legs, I think. Oh man, so close. So close. What's that put us? Even though for the nine holes? Now what I did is I selected nine holes. That's really cool watching the river through there. You actually have movement on that overhead view. What I did is I selected play nine holes. Oh no, so we ended up uh, 35. Uh, so I did bogey and then birdie, birdie. So it said one over at, at one point there. So that may be something that I might even need to report. We might've just caught a little bit of a bug there because uh, if you guys remember, I wanna say after I birdied eight, and I'm gonna make my camera a little bit bigger here as we finish things up. Um, when I birdied eight, I think it said one over, but, and, and I was doing it correct. And then I ended up with a 35, I ended up one under. So it might be something we need to point out there. Um, brand new course, maybe, uh, maybe something on the scorecard. Um, it says GSV handicap uh, minus two though. So it's very possible I have handicap on. I mean, I'm gonna have to double check into this. You know, I'm kind of going on the fly here. So uh, it'll be interesting. And I can actually shrink it down uh, so you guys can see the entire scorecard. How about I do that? There we go, perfect. Now you guys will be able to see that uh, the GSV handicap there, it says uh, two under, okay, um, from the Serpent Tees, and I ended up 35. So uh, I have to double check on that. I'll let you guys know. Um, pay attention to the comments, and I'll let you know in the comments um, what I find out about that. That'll be interesting to see. And then uh, I'd love you guys to comment below and let me know what you think of the video, questions you have on a TrackMan Golf Simulator. Um, I'd love to answer them for you. As always, if you're looking to get a TrackMan Golf Simulator, my contacts there are amazing. Um, the guys do a fantastic job taking care of my viewers, so make sure that you reach out, and I'd love to connect to you. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and stay tuned. We'll have a lot more coming soon.